sanitizer stations around the park. We got clean hands here. We're coming. Look at that mom. A lot of things are still closed. The animals seem to be fine with that. We are heading to the monorail. Butterflies are closed because the butterfly garden is technically indoors. But you can still come hang out on a caterpillar if you want. Remember the social distance signs are everywhere. It's members preview, so there are not too many people in here. You spot the animals. They're gonna miss the peace and quiet that they had when there were not humans in here. The mouse house is closed. They've created a seating area with socially distanced tables where the movie theater used to be. I'll try not to cry too much. The giraffes are here to play. I think they're posing and eating at the same time. Jungle World's closed. The camels are closed. They social distance the tables. Food is open. Jungle World is closed. But the monorail is open. So that's where we are heading. I have antibacterial wipes to wipe down the seats when we get there. Can I take the wipes? You're the last of the summer? Yeah. Thank you very much. We have seven going in. Go ahead, Jimmy. We are getting our own cart on the monorail. We have our wipes to wipe down where everybody's going to sit. Um, okay. You're gonna sit in the front? No Which part are you gonna share? Okay. <laughs> Now the two types of species that we do show here at the Bronx Zoo, the Malayan and the Siberian, also known as the Amor, the Siberian, or the Amor are larger of the two. And that's what you're looking at right now. And that's Nikita. Oh, you know what it is. Now tigers have a variety of animals, but they prefer wild pigs and medium-sized deer. Now typically the tiger gorges themselves on a fresh kill. You think a deer and the axe is there, the black rock antelope. So the black rock antelope is way back in the middle, but right from lower down to the bottom right, you spot a deer on the axe is there, native to India and Sri Lanka. And the bronze was shown. He said, "This is in 1899, when the zoo first opened 121 years ago." That is large. It was the muddy area for its home. If you see, it looks like a pig with the patus that are up in the top of the snout and curved back to it. It's about 200 pounds a day, and they drink about 60 gallons of water. And that is good. Okay, take a good look at that trunk because only Asian elephants have this adaptation. She has a finger-like feature on them with that trunk, where she can gently pick up a blade of grass, or with that same trunk. She can tear down all the surrounding branches out here with enormous force. That trunk holds more than 40,000 muscles. But for Zoe, we're now to look out for another large mammal, which will tend to weigh around 3,500 pounds. Big environment for our next two species of animals, and both are well adapted to climbing rocks and mountain slopes. We're talking about our Himalayan tar and our bark palm. Six feet straight up. And our mark is known to climb these trees just to reach the fresh leaves. They are excellent climbers and leapers, and again, this is definitely their terrain. Hi Linus. We love you, sleepyhead. Alright, you got it. Alright, let's go. Let me see it. Dolls, I was learning about dolls. Who is teaching you about dolls? Wildcrats. Because wildcrats is part of our curriculum. The dolls are not out right now. 
but they have taken over our polar bear home because our polar bear left us in 2017. There's a bear. Too close. Like really close. What's the bear? Look at my camera. Too close, too close, too close. Why are we really quiet? Reptile House is closed. So all of our indoor exhibits, as well as the carousel and the butterfly garden are closed. But it's still a beautiful day at the zoo. There's social distance. Stickers everywhere for waiting in lines. They let you know if something's two directional or one directional. And overall, people are respecting people's space. And the staff here is, as always, helpful and sweet and caring job cleaning the whole zoo except they forgot where we have to come out and it's very very yucky where we have to pass through yeah, we're already out we're already out of it so i can't show you the moving the door but that's what it looks like hopefully they'll remember to clean it before our next visit and that's all for our zoo tour i hope you enjoyed it bye members night only but today we're back at the zoo to see what it's like on a regular day let's go so it seems like to me today the zoo is a little quieter than it was when we yeah. came last week what is it that we just turned down the wrong way no this is the same path we took get last week yep must be them Someone's not following directions. Thank you. So it is less people waiting for the monorail today than it was the other day for numbers days. And we have eight of us today, so we will have our own cart again. They're heading home for the night. This is probably the busiest exhibit we've seen because everybody loves the sea lions. So this next girl decided we'll stand back here to watch them because we can hear them right from here. We didn't get to see them on our first visit, so we're excited to see our friends. Our friends, the sea lions, are excited to see us back at the zoo.